Hey everyone, my name is Brian Minson, and I'm a photographer for Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine. I want to take a few moments today and kind of give you some tips and tricks on how you can take amazing images at your local independent wrestling matches. First off, here's a little bit of a sample of what I've done in the past that have appeared in the magazine. As a photographer for Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine, I've had an opportunity to shoot guys like Hulk Hogan, Sting, The Rock, and be there to capture moments when they win world championships. However, I can't really share those images on social media due to the contracts they have as photographers. But I can go to independent wrestling matches and shoot and share with all the wrestlers and the groups. Let's talk about gear really quick. This is the camera I use when I shoot WWE or other professional wrestling around the country. It's a Canon 1D Mark IV, so it's not the brand new 1DX or 1DX Mark II. And the lens is a 70 to 200 2A non-IS, again, an older lens. The reason for the non-IS is because the IS actually will slow down autofocus when shooting. So I don't use the IS lens at all. But you do not need something this extravagant and this uh, high quality. A simple Canon Rebel, say a T5, a T6, with even a kit lens will work fine. You're gonna have to bump the ISO and keep your shutter speed somewhat lower, but again, it can be done. I'd recommend maybe moving to a 50 1.8 or even 85 1.8 Canon lens or a Nikon equivalent, but either way, you do not need to spend a ton of money on gear. You can use what you have and then eventually move up into a higher professional body. Okay guys, most of your independent wrestling arena is going to be very small houses, two or three rows around the arena. Um, keep that in mind. Don't try to stand in front of people too much, and when you do, move around. Don't just stay in one spot. Give those ticket-paying people an uh, opportunity to enjoy the show without hearing your clicking and seeing your uh, rear end. Most of my shots set in this arena was at uh, 1 800th of a second at 2.8. 6400 ISO. Again, the lighting is not going to change. You're indoors. You can set it manually and just run with it. The uh, first part of the match, I try to get static shots, headshots of the wrestlers as they come in. And then throughout the match, find moments of action. Try to find stuff that most people with uh, other digital cameras or a cell phone image won't be able to capture from their seat. I try to find a background when I'm shooting that has little or no distractions. Try to find the darkest wall, something without a pattern that you can then shoot against because you want the, the background to be dark and, and unobtrusive. So when you have your shots, if you need to, here you can see the ceiling is white, but the, uh, the, the walls were black. So it was hard to shoot something and not get it fully blacked where it's not distracting. I did in post go in, shooting raw, was able to color correct for the gelled lights they had around the mat. And in addition, go in and kind of blacken or darken or burn the walls and the ceiling to give it that solid black look. So here guys, I've moved to 180 degrees from where I was at. Again, moving around constantly. Also, you have to understand that in indie wrestling, they're gonna wrestle from all four sides. When I shoot WWE or I shoot uh, TNA or, or Impact Wrestling, you are kind of segregated to shoot on one location, which is camera side. So those guys know to, when they do certain moves, that they face the cameras, which is all on one side of the arena. Now I did get up and do some shots with a uh, 17 to 40 millimeter lens under the ropes where you wouldn't see them. But typically, when I'm shooting uh, WWE in those type uh, situations, only their official photographers are allowed to be at ringside. So I've gotten to a habit of using a 70 to 200 or a 300 to 8 and being back on the, the platform with the other hard cameras and shooting there. So I, I tend to do a mix when I shoot indie shows like this. Okay, let's recap what we've learned. First, we know our shutter needs to be at 1 500th of a second or faster to stop action. We need to shoot at the highest aperture we can, 2.8, 2.0, in that range. When it comes to ISO, depending on the light, we can be anywhere between 6,400, 8,000, 12,800, or maybe higher, depending on the lights in the arena. Remember not to stay in one spot too long. Take a couple shots, move out of the way. Don't get in front of anyone. Don't let your shutter annoy the people who have paid money to be there at the show.
Don't forget to try different angles. Squat down if you can, get up a little higher. Have fun, enjoy it, and share your images with those wrestlers. They want to see them, fans want to see them. Possibility it may lead into something more for you down the road. Thanks so much. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.